The vacation is a custom enjoyed in all parts of the world. Behaviors and methods vary significantly region to region, but none as particular as that of the North American vacationer. The strange habits exhibited invite close exploration. The day of the North American vacationer begins with boisterous group activity. After a majority of vacationers has risen, the first task of the day is to invite the rest also to do as the same. Awakening individuals prior to their natural time appears to be a great delight to the awakeners, less, however, to the sleepers. At first opportunity, the youngest and the oldest of the groups grab mechanicalized sticks and stand holding them at water's edge for hours on end. With the other age groups adequately occupied, the adults then take the opportunity to throw objects at the grass. Children play a particular role during vacation. Appearing to bear the burden of responsibility, they perform a wide variety of tasks that differ in degree of productivity. Here, the children vacationers take the responsibility of containing the local water source with a dam project. Stop it! And look, it's draining out! It's draining out, look guys! The seriousness of the task can be perceived quite tensely by the tone of their voices. Boom! Is it? Oh. I said, if you need stuff, if you need stuff, oh, grab just pound here. it, just pound it! Oh no, somebody even at us! While the young ones work, the adolescent male vacationer sleeps. Following the water engineering efforts, the youngest and the oldest return again to the mechanicalized stick activities, which turns out to be the means of catching their prey, namely ridiculously small fish. After hours of watching, a fish is secured on the line. It seems to be a small supply of fish in the water, as the very same fish will repeatedly appear on the line while the young ones are fishing. The rare view of the actual fish release demonstrates the adult's inclination to sabotage the children's efforts to gather food. Beside catching their food, children are also expected to entertain the adults with dance. However, the dance of entertainment, in rare circumstances, can turn cruel, whether it is a form of entertainment or torture is determined by the duration and repetitive nature of the routine. Responsible for their own cooking, the children vacationers gather around a hot fire and prepare small bits of food fit for consumption. Hold yours by hers. Yeah, not that close. Up, bring it up, lift it up a little. Adults do little, simply watching and giving orders. The older of the young are put to work, driving a boat that appears to serve some purpose in fishing. The smallest of the children are pulling far behind the boat on a small inflatable device. Although footage of a catch has never been acquired, it is assumed that practice is meant to employ small children as a bait for larger water creatures swimming beneath the surface. Even the smallest of the children are not exempt from hard labor. This small child was apparently instructed to move or empty the local water source, only to discover the difficulty of such a task.
while the children are hard at work. Adults engage in unique social behavior. Here we are privileged to view a rare courting exchange. Tired and dirty after the day's labor, the children bathe in the same tub of water. While doing so alone, Dots inspects and makes slight modifications to the earlier work. Finally, their day's work is complete. The children get a short break before bedtime. By the way, your family is ridiculously funny. <laughs>